So today I'm going to demonstrate how to point mount and you point mount for insects that are too small to otherwise be able to pin. So you're going to need a few things. You're going to need some styrofoam, some tweezers or forceps, insect pins, your insect. You're also going to need a few of these little teardrop shaped pieces of paper and these are your points. And this is what you're actually going to be mounting your insect on. You can punch these out of cardstock or index cards using these little hole punchers. BioQuip sells them, they're about $30. You could probably find something similar at Michael's for cheaper. Um, you're going to need your pinning block and you're going to need some glue. And you can either use Elmer's glue or nail polish. And we'll talk at the end about which one you might want to use and why. The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to get a point, which is that teardrop shaped piece of paper, and you're going to pin the round end of that point. The point then becomes a placeholder for the insect. So you're going to use your pinning block and position the point on the pin where you normally would position an insect. In this case, I use my pinning block, the last step, and turn my pin upside down. So there are two ways to point mount your insect. The first is just to leave the piece of paper or the point the way it is and just glue it to the bottom of the insect, but I don't like this too much because it can cover up a lot of the characteristics that you need to actually identify it later. So I fold the edge of the point down to form a right angle and I'll use this part of the point to glue to glue it to the thorax of the insect. And you're going to want to glue the point to the right side of the insect. So once I have my point and I'm pretty happy with the angle at which it's resting, I move my specimen down to the edge of the styrofoam just because I think it's a little bit easier to actually glue it to the point when it's at the edge of the styrofoam, but that's just personal preference. So once you have your insect in position and your point is all folded, you can add a little bit of glue to the point. If you're using Elmer's glue, you don't need very much. Like this is too much, so I'm going to wipe some off. And you're just kind of let it sit for a minute, just kind of get a little bit tacky. And then you're going to lightly dab the side of the point to the side of the insect and you can, if you don't like how he's positioned or if he's not quite straight, then you can kind of nudge him around a little bit. And then you just let him dry. And when he's done, you're going to identify him and label him like you would any other insect. That's pretty much it. I hope this helps you point mount your insects. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments.